you and I. Fine girl from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Laura Tapiwa, and I hope by the end of this video you like me enough to subscribe. And if you're back again, hey cousin. <laughs> so as you can as you can tell by the title of this video, it's pretty straightforward. Um I got this idea when I was responding to my friend today. She sent me a voice note. Shout out to you, Zanthi. And as I was responding to her, this video idea just came up because it's something I'm currently going through and I just decided to share it. Most of these videos, my chit chat videos, are usually things that I've experienced with and things that I'm currently going through. So I don't like to talk about things I don't know. So that's why I usually talk about things I'm going through. So originally, I wanted to name this video when you don't know what you need to be doing with your life but then that became a little bit too long so i just decided to make it short hence fourth find your purpose or how to find your purpose i'm not sure how i actually ended up name, naming this video but yeah one of the two so anyway without wasting much of your time i don't want this video to be long i'm gonna be getting right into it drinking water because i'm out of wines First things first, um, in order for you to find your purpose or to know what you need to be doing, if you're stuck in a place where you might be like trying to do things or I don't know, you, when you're stuck, you don't know what you need to do with your life, what path you need to go, what career path, whatever thing. So these are the steps I'm going to give you. There are six. The first thing is to take a step back to pause everything that you are currently into, detach yourself. Um, this has worked so much for me. As an example, I have a social media account with a lot of followers, not that many, but yeah. So I can, my, my taking a step back was removing myself from the public eye, not really public, but you know what I mean. Just kind of taking a step back to really discover what I'm supposed to do and what it is that I need to do. So in your case, taking a step back could be just pausing everything. Like, let's say you don't know what you need to do in the career path. You don't know which career path you need to take. Take a step back before you continue your job hunt. Pause that. If you're in, in varsity or just before you go for varsity and you don't know what you need to study, if it's possible, take a gap year. Take a step back. Pause it. Don't continue because... You need to continue to, to do something that you're confident in such that when it doesn't work out as soon as or as other people you still go through with it because you're confident in it so if you're in a place where you're stuck right now take a step back pause look at everything that is happening in your life just take a step back and stop doing anything detach yourself from people if it's relationships if it's jobs, I don't know, Some sometimes some people quit jobs, I'm, I won't suggest that, but if that's what you need, let's say you have a solid income that will be still coming in, take a step back, detach yourself from the world and rediscover yourself. Take a step back, that's the first step. Uh, the second step is to see the bigger picture. By seeing the bigger picture, I mean, where do you see yourself in 10 years time? If we're talking about career path, uh, let's say you're just before you go for varsity or you're after varsity or you're some people like me, you're probably in the job market already, but you're now stuck in a place where you really don't know if what you're currently doing is what you want to be doing for the rest of your life. So see the bigger picture. Look at yourself at 50 or at 45. What do you want to be doing? Do you want to be an entrepreneur with a successful business? Do you want to be earning money while you sleep? Or do you want to be a corporate queen or king? The thing is, right now, the trend is going for black women businesses, black men businesses. So everyone is kind of aligned and kind of wanting to go in line with being a business owner or something like that. But that is not everyone's path. Some of you are destined to be corporate kings or queens. Not everyone has to start a business. Not everyone is supposed to start a business. If everyone was supposed to start a business, who's going to work for you? I'm just saying. So sometimes really think about what it is that you want to be doing 
maybe in four when you're 45 do you want to have a corner office uh with the biggest title cfo ceo uh coo i don't know hrm i don't know what type of title you want but visualize what you want to be doing and visualize how you want to retire some titles some corporate kings and queens earn good money such that when they get to retirement age they have enough money saved up so when i say see the bigger picture it's what do you want to be doing what will make you happy with yourself you know because we can say oh start a business start a business but some people aren't really happy as entrepreneurs some people don't want to do it some people are happier waking up going to work 95 making money that's what works for them let them do that so see the bigger picture where do you see yourself like at 45 or 50 that's a big age but where do you see yourself at 50 what position do you see yourself do you see yourself in the board of directors so when you see the, the seeing the bigger picture will help you know which steps you need to take because right now if you're watching this you're probably stuck in a place where you're thinking Ah, I want to start a business. I want to follow my passion. But then at 45, you don't see yourself as a makeup artist. You see yourself as a corporate king or queen. So see the bigger picture. And when you have the bigger picture, or maybe at 45, you see yourself being a blogger still. Or then follow that part. The point is see the bigger picture. When you know what you want to do at 50, when you know the place you want to be at 50, it will help you decide what steps to take now. The next step is to serve your season. By serving your season, I mean that uh, the Bible says there's a time for everything. So you're stuck right now. This is the season that you're in. If you have a current job, serve your season. Don't be grumpy about it. Don't wake up and feel, oh my God, my boss is like this. Oh my God, I hate waking up. Oh my God, I hate working weekends. Serve your season well. Whatever season it is that you're in. If it's a good one, serve it well. Do your best at work. Do your best at home. Serve your season well. Once you've discovered, once you've taken a step back and you've seen the bigger picture, you've now discovered what you want to be. You want to be an entrepreneur. What steps do you need to be, to be, what steps do you need to take? You need capital. So the season that you're in right now could be saving up for, for that because not everybody is, blessed enough to have investors or to have a rich family that will help them start their business some people have to work so if you've decided no at 50 i want to be running a career company but right now you're working as a ca or right now you're working as an hrm psychologist whatever your job is serve your season well it's not where you want to be it's not going to be where you're going to be but do it well do your best in it serve your season well know why you're there there's a reason why you're there uh, i strongly believe that God will not take you out of a certain place until you learn the lesson. So humble yourself, bring that down, and serve your season well. If you are, let's say you're looking for a job with the title that you need and you haven't gotten it, but you need the money, get a job, get the money, but do it well. No need to be grumpy every other day. Oh my God, I hate my job, I hate my title, the money's not enough. Yes, and we know those things that happen, and we know the money's not enough. But what are you going to do that's going to change it? nothing so serve it well go to work do your best and when the door opens let it but you will be so frustrated every day if you don't choose to serve your season well the next step is you don't owe anybody an explanation when you're trying to find your purpose because what happens with this is that like i've said you take a step you've taken from the time you've taken a step back people are going to be asking you why have you stopped coming to Pablo's <laughs> why have you stopped I the question was why did you deactivate your account why have you stopped talking to ABCD why did you do ABCD people are gonna ask you all those things the first thing you need to know is you do not owe anybody an explanation you don't have to explain anything to anyone you've taking a step back you've seen the bigger picture you've written down the habits that you need to break the habits that you need to change the lifestyle that you want to live and you have put that in place so you don't need to explain anything to anybody because what happens in this process is that there are people that have a life that they've visualized for you there are people from your past that will look at you differently when you, the moment you decide to change your past comes up like 
people want to know why why have you stopped doing this why aren't you talking to this person that's how it works don't let the need to explain yourself draw you back you don't need to even your best friend don't because when you try to explain yourself you meet people that don't understand you and then you start being confused so don't you don't owe anyone an explanation you don't have to explain yourself three opinions matter your opinion of yourself god's opinion of you and your opinion of god those are the only opinions that matter so when you're trying to find your purpose and what you need to do with your life those are the three opinions that you need to look into so you don't need to explain yourself to anybody take a step back withdraw yourself from the world from whatever you need to do serve your season well make the necessary changes you need to make but you don't owe anybody an explanation because they will come asking you why are you doing this why are you doing this i don't know why i changed my voice but they will come they will ask you so you don't really owe anyone an explanation if and to those people that feel like they need to know no no one owes you an explanation no one no one owes you anything the <laughs> the other factor i should have put this earlier because yeah is get to know yourself by getting to know yourself see the bigger picture and then get to know yourself get to know your strengths and your weaknesses i strongly believe in knowing your weaknesses know your weak spots know what triggers you just know them that way it's easier for you to navigate through life if you are an example if you tend to be violent when you're drunk that's a weakness when you know it and you accept that i am a violent drunk you will take the necessary steps to not get drunk or to get help know your weaknesses my weaknesses is that i open up too much oh yo i'm an open book so i'm kind of having to get used to how was your day i'm kind of having get used to get used to answering my day was great and not having to go oh, my day was great my boss said no 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 <laughs> so my thing is know your weaknesses know your strengths know your weaknesses that way you will know when and how to apply them when and what to stop doing because we're looking at the bigger picture now when you know your strengths and you know your weaknesses, it will help you so much in life. When you talk to people, you talk to your bosses, your superiors, when you need to pitch your business idea, know your strengths and know your weaknesses in life in general. When you relate to people, always know what makes you stronger and what crashes you, what habits you need to stop. Because when you're finding your purpose, it means that there's something in you that is you're not satisfied. So you need to change your way of life i don't know the lifestyle that you see yourself living at 50. you see yourself being a wealthy black woman johnny johnny start living like one now law of attraction baby you can't see yourself doing certain things in when you're 15 that you don't start to practice now start it now fall in love with yourself spend time and money and energy on yourself you need to do that so get to know yourself fall in love with yourself and the last but not least factor is to pray you need to bring god into this and by praying i think this is more on listening to god when you need to find your purpose take time to listen because usually we pray we pray we just talk and talk and tell god and tell god what should i do what no god knows Take time to listen. Pay attention to things that's happening around you. Be open to listening to the voice of God. Because this is a time where you need to hear God. Which is why I brought up the take a step back. You need to remove yourself from certain things and certain habits in order to hear the voice of God. So take time to pray. That's a very important factor. So I hope this helps somebody. And I hope by the end of this video, you will... Oh, it's the end now. <laughs> I hope this helps somebody and I hope that you put this into place and it will help you find out what you need to do with your life. Bye.